Jawan Howard went through the handshake line after the Michigan Wolverines lost to the Wisconsin Badgers and got into it with Greg Gard, the head coach of Wisconsin's basketball team. And this kind of began a little bit of a feud, a little bit of a back and forth. You could tell tensions were rising. And now, uh, or not now, but then we had Jawan Howard open hand hit one of the Wisconsin assistants. And the name escapes me, right? It's, it's Joe something. Uh, but regardless, he hit somebody from the opposing team, which started a bit of a melee. And you had two Michigan players throw punches, and you had one Wisconsin player throw a punch. Those kids have been suspended one game each. And Jawan Howard has now been suspended for the rest of the regular season. Greg Gard got a, a small fine. I think it was $10,000. Jawan Howard got a $40,000 fine. That is chump change to those guys. That's nothing. So, not that big of a deal when, when it comes down to it. Now, missing the entire rest of the regular season for Michigan's head basketball coach is a big deal. What this has sparked, though, is the idea of should we get rid of the handshake lines? At the end of a game when tensions are really, really high and it doesn't go one way or another, now this was a blowout, so it shouldn't, tensions should not have been high anyway, right? It just, if it was a loss, it is what it is. But we do have certain situations where you don't go through a handshake line. On a buzzer beater, when the court gets stormed, things like that. You rarely see a handshake line in the NBA. You never see it really in the NFL. You don't see it in college football. It's just if you want to shake hands with somebody from the opposing team, you can. I kind of think that that's the direction that we should go. Now, Michigan State head coach Tom Izzo said that if you get rid of the handshake line, it's just a farce. Uh, that's really, you know, he, he thinks it is good sportsmanship and it teaches good sportsmanship to these players. I, on the other hand, look at it as these games have a lot of stakes and there is a lot of emotion after the ball games. You do the handshake line, and I'm surprised that we have not had more instances like this over the years. I understand that just because one bad seed does something bad doesn't mean that you need to change the whole game. Like This whole tradition of a handshake line has been perfectly fine for a long, long time. I am of the opinion, maybe we need to get rid of this thing. I don't see any reason why these coaches need to go shake hands or whatever. And yes, we can talk about whether or not that is bad for the sport, bad for sportsmanship, whatever. I just think, looking at the amount of money that these guys make, uh, all of the different TV coverage, everything else that comes out, all of the guys like me that are actually hosting sports shows, etc., uh, there's so much emotion pent up in these players, in these coaches. There's no reason to put them face-to-face -face and have them talk, right? There's no reason to do that, especially at the end of a game like that where you knew that there was like, you knew there was tension. You knew that they were upset. Why put them face-to-face -face and have them actually, and yes, you can blow by. You know, it, it, I'm not rationalizing anything that Jawan Howard did. What I'm saying is eliminate it from the equation. Very simple. So that's my take on this. We probably need to get rid of the handshake line. Uh, there's not another sport that really does this. So why do we continue to do it in college basketball? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.